Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy Shadowbringers. We're taking a quick break from the MSQ. Don't worry, I'll be back tomorrow at 5. Then these these uh, mini episodes will be a secondary episode on uh, each day. We're going to have a little look at Gunbreaker this time around. Just the first episode. We'll do the first quest and have a look at the skills and whatnot. Let's go. Let's, 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 let's go. Let's fucking just do it. Let's just do it. Oh, it might fancy making yourself useful. Listen close, a gang of highwaymen have been deploying their trade around here these last few days and they're trying to flush them out. They're slippery buggers though, so we need to get all we we need all the help we can get. That's where you come in. We spotted them lurking at Bumble Patch and we're gonna get ready to spring our trap. All you need to do is call anyone who strikes you as a bit shifty and raise the alarm. And we'll take care of the rest. All right. East uh, Shroud. Why am I going to the map? Travel. Teleport. Take me to the East Shroud. Oh, there's a dancer there. A Viera dancer. We'll unlock dancer uh, tomorrow. And it'll be tomorrow's uh, 7 o'clock video. Um... Just normal choke about it for now. It's uh, all the way over here. Right. Well, so far I've been having quite a uh, quite a positive um, quite a positive release, I guess. They did a little bit of a upon signing in. There was a bit of an error, a bit of an error of people logging in. I think everyone logged in at the same time and DDoSed themselves. <laughs> So it was a bit of a fuck up to be in the, on the old login, but after that, it's not been. I've not had a single issue. Bit of lag from over uh, the over the amount of fucking people in an area, but other than that, it's been alright. Oh, he looks a bit shifty. Oh damn! This gunbreaker dude is kicking ass. This being the very first Horofgar we've um, ever seen. The first Horofgar we've ever seen in uh, Ian Eorzea. And we're just to believe they've always existed. Out of my way or I'll get ya. Well then, by all means. Please attempt it. Oh, I see. I've actually got to, like, come in here and I've got to fight the guy. There we go. <laughs> I'm aiding. Oh, you have my thanks, stranger. And mine. If you hadn't shown up, things could have gone very badly for us. It's my fault. I'll be more careful next time. Just truth be told, I thought you'd you'd have an easier time as on this side. To think we could have caught unawares by a gang of common thieves. What's going on here? I heard the commotion and what? That's one of them. The wit one like the witness described. Take him into custody. Give him a right good idea. Hmm. It's strange they'd go after a pair like you. All their marks so far have been merchants and whatnot. You, you know folk carrying around. I reckon that if any of their cronies out there watching, they'd be think twice before crossing you again. I kind of expected it to skip ahead, so I stopped at like a halfway point. But uh, it didn't, and now I feel like a bit of an idiot. Alright, bye dude. <laughs> Off he goes. Those bandits, something something about it doesn't sit right with me. We barely have a fistful of gill between us, and a common flume's edge steel strapped to my back. 
not like the most, most likely targets. You know, your clothes look expensive. Perhaps they went straight for the kill. They might have succeeded if you hadn't stepped in or in your debt. I'm Radvan, and this is Sophie. We travelled here from Is Ilzabad, far from the north. Oh, from Ilzabad. I had no choice. My family was taken hostage. While it is true, I have fought, fought and killed for the Empire. I would never have done so willingly. Although I freed myself of their shackles, the life I'd known is no more. But there no was another life, sooner put behind me. I came to Eorzea, and hoped that I might start anew. As for me, I also escaped from the Galleons. I was part of the resistance movement until we were all round up to or killed as it is. The Empire took everything from me and my family and my homeland. With nowhere else to go, the two of us decided to stand a better chance surviving if we stuck together. And here we are. To see me now, you'd scarce believe I once served a personal guard to the Queen, but in the end I couldn't protect her. I couldn't protect anyone. While I would gladly have given my life for theirs, it was not to be. Even so, the new use of the skills I spent years holding, whom I may deliver them from my yet from arm. That's why I suggested we started looking for employment as a bodyguard in Eorzea. And Gridania seemed a good starting point. I know you helped us enough already, but I have a proposal. Would you consider working with us? Hold on now, Rovan. I sort of a lot to ask, don't you think? But Strife has what it takes to become a gunbreaker. Dude, I'm a samurai. <laughs> it seems my gunblade has caught your eye. You might have seen the Guardians wielding some similar. The ones that are used by the Emperor simply angled weapons with firearms bolted on, uh, nice vice versa. But uh, this, this is something forged from generations. Our gun blades use a vehicle in body cartridges. When we pull the trigger, a powered crystal within ignites. It spends a powerful shockwave through the blade, increasing its destructive capabilities. Wow. And create defensive barriers. Perhaps you should save the lectures for until you've heard Strife's answer. Ah, oh, yes. First things first. So, are you interested? In exchange for assisting us, I will teach you the art of the gunbreaker. And I was wondering if you might be able to act as a guide and accept if you'd accept gunblade training from form payment, it'd be most grateful. Once the coin starts rolling in, you'll receive a fair share. You need not answer right away, but please, give it some thought. Well, do we want to become a gunbreaker? I guess we do, since that's the idea of this video. Did you reach the decision? Yes. This day and force, our fates are intertwined. Whilst the path in lies is not an easy one, the spirits of my predecessors will watch over you. Here's a sword, a crystal, and a whole bunch of gear that I just happen to have on me. Not got a lot on me, though. Nothing worth stealing, but I've got this stuff. Here you go. Level 60. Alright. Let's let's come over here. Let's come out of the way. Come out of the way of all the hubbub. And let's uh let's equip our new our new job. A high steel gun blade. Oh it looks it looks kinda garlian y, doesn't it? <laughs> looks kinda garlian y. Alright, that's fine. In it goes. And we have this as well. So we're probably naked now, aren't we? Yeah. We're naked. Put this on, put this on, put this on, put this on, put this on. Wow. This looks... <laughs> this gear looks familiar. Um, okay. So there you go. There's our gun breaker and stuff. Let's get rid of that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. What the fuck? No, don't need that. Don't need that. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Don't need that shit. Um, okay, gunbreaker. Uh, power gauge. The royal symbol indicates the defensive stance royal guard is, is in effect. It increases enmity. Okay, because of course all tanks now work ever so slightly differently. Is that all tanks now have a aggro stance and fuck all, basically. <laughs> There's no more stance dancing. If you want to tank, you tank. If you don't want to tank, you don't tank. Right? That's the new rules. 
Forming a combo ending in Solid Barrel and D or Demon Slaughter, uh, quite at level 40, adds cartridges to the Powder Gauge, which are an experimented Burst Strike and um, Gnashing Fang, quite at level 60. Okay. View the job gauge in the description below. Okay, well, there's the job gauge up there. It can stay there for now. Um, let's have a look at our skills, shall we? So we have our actions. We have a fucking lot of them to put on. Um, so Keen Edge. So this is our number one. That can stay where it is. Uh, this is No Mercy. Increased damage dealt by 20%. So this is kind of like our fight or flight, I guess. We'll put that here. Brutal Barrel. Delivers an attack with a potency of 100. Combo action with Keen Edge. Okay. We'll uh, put that there. Okay, so what's this? Camouflage. Increases parry rate by 50% by reducing damage taken by 10%. Okay, we'll put that uh, here. Uh, Demon Slice is a tendency of all nearby enemies. That appears to be a AoE. So we'll put that over here. Uh, this is our Tonk button. So we'll put that there. Um, maybe... Hold on. Let me just fucking remove all this garbage. <laughs> And we'll go through it bit bit by bit. Okay, that'll be easier, won't it? Um, that can go. 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 Um, stun is actually where it's supposed to be, so <laughs> that's fine. Um, yeah, danger zone. Get rid of that. Provoke. I know where you go. You go there. Right. Sweet. Okay. So we've got this one. Lightning Shot. Lives a ranged attack with a potency of, of 150. So this is our shield lob or whatever. So that goes there. Danger Zone. Lives an attack with a potency of 350. Doesn't seem to have any combo effects just yet. So let's stick it there for now. Solid Barrel. Uh, combo with Brutal Shell, which is this one. So this is the third part as a cartridge to your powder gauge. Okay, so that goes there. That's our third part of our damage combo. Uh, then we have Burst Strike, the an attack with a potency of 500. That seems like an off GCD one. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> well, okay. Can't use that yet though. That's fine. Uh, Nebula increases, reduces damage taken by 30%. All right, that's like, that can go there. Demon Slaughter delivers a potency of attack wide. Com combo action Demon Slice. Uh, okay, that can come up here. Yora grants healing over time effect to a target. That's pretty cool. That can go here. For now, might move that. Uh, this is our hollowed ground. This is our oh shit button. So let's put that up there. Right. Oops, I accidentally used it. That's probably fine. <laughs> That's probably fine. Let's put that there. Um, so it breaks. Delivers an attack with a potency of 300 with damage over time. That's our dot. Okay, that's our dot. That can go there for now. Um, yeah, okay, that can go there for now. Rough divide. Delivers a jumping attack with a potency of 200. So that's our charging. Hmm. Our charging can go there for now. Well, actually, actually, our charging can go there because that's where my charging is on Samurai. That would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Get through that one. Don't want that one. Uh, Nashing Fang delivers an attack with a potency of 450. Cartridge cost. Okay, so that's like the other one. Um, Put that there. We'll swap you out. You can come here as well since I think you are... That's Gnashing Fang and thing. So what's this? This is attack, combo action of Gnashing Fang. Okay, so that can go there. Uh, Savage Claw. Oh, I see. That's like an actual combo. That's Gnashing Fang and that's Savage Claw. Okay, so let's take Burst Strike out. Put you like that. You like that, and then we'll put the talon like that. Okay. Um, 
then these are skills that we haven't got yet. Should deliver the permanency or nearby enemies nearby it. Damage over time. Okay, so that's like an AOE dot. That's fucking pretty sweet. Um, so the dot can go here. What is this? What is this one I got here? Burst strike. What the fuck is burst strike? Burst strike is this one here. This is how the permanency cartridge cost. Okay. Okay, well we don't need these yet. As we do the quests and get higher levels, that's when we'll put these on. So we won't worry about them now. We have these ones, that's fine. Oh, hold on. We also need our roll actions. So Rampart, down there. Low blow, we got done already. That we got already. Uh, interject, we can go up here. Reprisal, that can also go up here. Arms length, that can go here. Uh, not there. There. Try and keep that in the same position for everything, I think. And then Shirk, that can go here. Alright, good. Traits, we have Tank Mastery. Uh, we have um, Source Cartridge Powers. Okay, we have Enhanced Brutal Shell and Danger Zone Mastery. Change the Danger Zone to Blasting Zone, which is not till 80. Um, okay, so let's accept this and we'll do the next... Uh, Gunblade, the first Gunblade thing. Uh, Ruben is keen to put you to newly acquired skills to practice. Hey buddy, now that you're gun now that the gunbreakers have yielded a portion of their wisdom, you are ready to take the blade in hand. Rather than spend moons and moons training you, perhaps it's best we find employment first. You just use the time between adjustments, uh, assessments to refine your abilities. But we should start. Where should we start? The Adventurers Guild. Uh, sounds quite promising. Uh, I suppose we are adventurers after all. Uh, tell me, are you familiar with this sort of thing? Yeah, I guess. Oh my, in that case, uh, we couldn't have found a better guide. Oh, no time like the present, shall we? Alright, go ahead to the canopy. So let's head over to the canopy. Twenty thousand uh, HP is not a lot. Uh, we haven't got any accessories actually. That's a good point. We haven't got any accessories on, on either. So what is the actual gear that we're given? Two five five. Yeah. Oh, I've not got a belt. I didn't think about belts. Put that on. And I did. Did I not make stuff? I reckon that'll do. Shy thing. Yeah, fuck it. Did I did I buy a bunch of shy gear? Well, I guess I must have. Even though it looks it's strength first. Is that correct? Doesn't feel good, does it? Uh, okay, and then we got this, which is offending. Should do. Um, I could just recommend the gear, I guess. Really? That's better than that? Well, I suppose so. Mm, no, it's not. I don't want dexterity. And I haven't got a belt. I forgot about a belt. <laughs> well, there you go. What are you going to do? Alright, let's continue this, shall we? Um, we can also go to glamour plates. Oh, yeah, we've got 15 of these now, huh? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ignore some of these. They're not <laughs> they're not meant to exist as of yet. Um there we go. Glam on that one. Get rid of that jewelry. Right. Hello. Now, now that Mavo Menum has made us a formal member of the Adventurers Guild. Now we can start accepting assignments. In fact, I've already been given details on a potential client who needs a bodyguard or two. A man named Les Lysian Dishound. He is Waiting with the Wailing Barracks, Sophie and I will try and make our own way there. So we got our bearings. Alright, off he goes. Um, isn't that just the Lancer Guild? <laughs> Is that the Lancer Guild? Or am I incorrect? Um... Yeah, it's basically Lancer Guild. 
Hey, for I. Well, this is good. <coughs> Jeez. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. The oh, I need sprint. I've I, f I threw away sprint. In my, in my haste, in my recklessness, I've discarded the very thing. Oh, while we're here, I guess. <laughs> All right. Hello. Uh, you must be the one sent for the adventures guild, yes? Oh, thank goodness. Something dreadful has befallen. Well, threatens to befall uh, the one and only Edifa. Who? <laughs> Will you say you're unfamiliar with the most gifted and harp associate who ever lived? Who ever possessed me to hire such uncultured... <clears throat> Uh, it appears uh, my breath would have been better spent briefing you on the nature of my request. A few days ago, Edefa received a most unwelcome missive of a death threat. Uh, to be precise, at first I deemed it nothing more than a crazed scrawling of someone, some harmless curl. But, uh, but that was until, during the radical r ritual, a stone was thrown at her. Missing her by a hair's... Oh, wow. It almost took her out. Uh, I have, in my capacity as her manager, called the public appearances, uh, cancelled public appearances even, even until, the until the perpetrator can be brought to justice. I fear, though, as that may decide Trump would, uh, would wither and fail if confronted to her dressing room, and she her herself expresses a desire to stroll freely uh, beneath the canopies. Okay, sure. Uh, I see where this is going. You want us to take her for a walk, is that it? Well, if that's all we have to do, uh, we we should count ourselves lucky. A threatening letter and a place of attack in a public place? Who knows what will happen next? But uh, I can't stay indoors forever, can we? Splendid. Without further ado, I shall have Edefia prepare for, for her pro province. I skipped it too quickly. Uh, we best proceed carefully. If the culprit knows that Lu Xiao asked the Adventurers Guild for help, he can probably deduce that I Idva, a fucking terrible name, that I, will come out of hiding. We should see if anyone appears bears a grudge against her, so that we know exact, so we know to expect, we know, to, bleh, so we know what to expect, and we better look around at the amph amphitheater and places where the ambusher might hide. You're very, you're very ready around Gridania all of a sudden, aren't you? So this is the um. So this is like you put this on if you want a tank. You know, if you don't want a tank, you just turn that off. You're like, no, nah, I don't want that one. You take it away. So right now I have it equipped. You see it a little like little gauge. That means <clears throat> that all of my skills, all of these skills here, will generate aggro. They'll all generate aggro no matter what I do, right? If I turn it off, now my moves will no longer generate aggro. So I can turn it off, and I can shirk the other tank to perform a tank swap. Right? And heal, and heal, put it on, and use provoke. Excuse me. You got something against the harpist, or whatever his name was? Uh, why, yes. I uh, uh, have been the talk of Udania since her debut. Her skill as a musician is without question, although I sense that her many admirers are more incised with her Bizarre stage garb. Oh yeah, she wears something uh, flirtatious, does she? Uh, no of her, I certainly do. I would consider myself to be one of her many admirers. In all honesty, I don't care for the way the others ogle her. If rumours about if her receiving death threats are true, one of those Lucius scandals, Lucius scandals must be behind it. Her the audience with Anna is officially reformed to right here. You're not. Um, <laughs> you're not a part of this quest. Turns out, ah, here's you know, Simpkin. Hey, buddy. Oh, I have a, even a moment deprived of her sumptuous <laughs> harmonies. Harmonies. Fucking, I cannot say the words that are in English in front of my face. It's quite embarrassing. It is akin to an entirety of unimaginable torment. When, oh, when will she grace us with her splendor once more? Oh, dude, you're a fucking... <laughs> you're a fucking psychopath. 
I found him. Let's just kill him now, yeah? <laughs> Let's just get rid of him. Have you must have you met Miss Ordain? Uh maybe? I think so. She is a harpist like Ind Indra. That poor girl. What is the world coming to? A gifted and beautiful young performer such as her, made to hide away in fear for her life, begins brief. Ah, uh, it must be one of her followers. I've seen the ways some of them look at her, and it makes my skin crawl. With fans like that, who needs enemies? It was you, wasn't it? Why did you do it, Ordain? So, what did, you, what did the other locals have to say? She's jealous. I can see it now. Ah, uh, yes, most of them think that Leo's Myros is to blame, yes. But I sense there's something more to it. I think until we have more information, we should treat everybody with equal suspicion. Be on the safe side. Personally, I'd prefer to carry out a more thorough investigation. We best all keep our clients waiting. Okay. Well, off we go. Back to, uh, back all the way over there. Well, this... I don't know, it's got to be her, right? She's, I bet she's jealous. She's jealous of the attention that she's getting. She's trying to blow it off. And the, and the fucking Harofka fell for it. Fell for it, I say. Uh, maybe he didn't. No, I'm gonna be honest. This doesn't seem. This doesn't seem uh, super good. It's kind of like Holy Ground, but restored you to one HP. That doesn't feel the best. Jesus, you're fucking. You're ready to go, aren't you, buddy? Assures me that you will be ready in two, stri two shakes of a zizzy's tail, whatever that means. Okay. Sure. I've not got a belt. <laughs> we didn't get a belt. Ah, well, it'd probably be fine. Wow, that is certainly a ridiculous outfit. It's definitely not what I was expecting. Oh, finally feel the sun's warming rays. Uh, they weren't joking when they called her eccentric. Uh, all the person about is going to draw more warm attention. Uh, we better get this over as quick as possible. Uh, Sophie, try if I will escort, I will escort her to the amphitheater. Why don't you stay behind, Lucy, just in case? Uh, fine by me. Uh, I'll keep an ear out. <laughs> ear out because you're a rabbit. Uh, no, okay. Though I was fully prepared to join you in the garden. Yeah, I can see. And even dressed for the occasion. Yeah, you got that dark dark light armor on real good, didn't you? Eh? Give it to us. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. La la la, what a beautiful day for a stroll. Alright. We only escort her to the amphitheater and back. Keep your eyes peeled. Sure. Why are you at such a... You're not at a walking pace. You're not at a running pace either. I must ask you to refrain the run. Oh, wouldn't dream of it. La la la. I like the stance. The stance is cool. I don't think I've ever seen... Oh, fuck's sake. Not very good, are we? Oh look, it's just all his sister. She'll help us. Who the fuck is this? Now death. Stay back. Stay back. Just all his sister. I didn't think you'd be into this. Oh, what a distraction. Quiet. Quiet. Come on. Come on, you stole his sister. Chill out. Oh, crap. So I wanted attention. 
You got that guy? It's not. Oh, she is helping. Oh, that's cool. I like that she helps. Let's stun one of those, shall we? Oh, we got a cartridge now, so we can use this one. And then that goes into this one. Ah, uh, I see. And then that goes into this one. Okay, I see. Then this is just a separate on its own, I guess. Yeah, she seems alright to me. I like how she helped, helped us. That's really cool. If she hadn't, I would have been really pissed. Alright, sweet. Alright, bye bye everybody. We're gonna... Even though we were just attacked and we had to kill, like, fucking six dudes. We're gonna leave their corpses and just move on. There's fucking more dudes. There's so many more dudes. So let's turn Royal, Royal Guard on. So we can actually hit these dudes. And keep my, uh... Keep aggro and keep them turned around. Look, I love it. The, the Guardsman is helping out too. So do I want to do this every single time, or what? I don't know. Is this like, is the, which the fuck is that again? Oh, this is the dot, isn't it? I love having a dot. Very much love having a dot. So despite it being on the global cooldown, it does have like a you can't reuse this for a while thing. Danger zone is just a hit. Jeez, there's so fucking many of these guys. Oh, this guy's fucking big dude. He's the head bandit, alright? Jeez. So this doesn't need a cast. It's on the GCD, but it has its own unique timer. Which I guess is a new thing, isn't it, really? Okay, I think I'm starting to understand. I should be using this, shouldn't I? I should be using No Mercy. Like, all the fucking time. Keep that shit off cooldown. What was that? <laughs> yeah, is that, is that where you want to be... Is that where you want to be standing? Not much further now. Yeah, we're still... Still walking to the amphitheater. We're still like, yeah, you know what? We'll guard you and take you to the amphitheater. No fucking problem. God, I wish they either walked or ran. Not being able to like match speed with them is freaking irritating. It's too quiet. They must be expecting this. Yeah, you think they're around? Jesus, it's a big old cat. I told you it was her. My, my, what naughty little rabbit. See if you've wanted too far. The stage is set for your curtain call. Though it cost me a pretty penny to rent this place. Uh, this will be the last time you walk over on my stage. Those grubby little paws of yours. Fucking told you guys it was her. Fucking told you. Alright, so we're stuck in a thing here. Alright, 
Let's uh try to keep them. She's just singing. She <laughs> she's just fucking singing. <clears throat> God damn it. She has no fucking intention of giving any shits. So Brutal Shell seems to give us a little tiny shield and a little bit of HP back too. The HP back it gives is fucking garbage. Like it's it's truly, truly bad. But a little bit of shield for the same thing. A little tiny bit of mitigation. It's not the worst thing in the world, you know? All right, after we've dealt with this dude, we'll uh, start chipping away at these guys. <laughs> There's quite a few. Sounds good, doesn't it? A swing, swing. Sounds nice. That's right, I got it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it really hurts. Okay, so we can use the regen on ourselves. It's not... <laughs> it's actually a pretty good fucking tick. Like, are you kidding me? 2,000 a tick is not, not nothing to shake your, shake your fist at. That's pretty good. I think I want you to use that. Oh, I can't help but have you use it. Use this one. Oh, he's trying to... He's trying to take it, so we need to turn this off. Oh, bugger. Dude, I thought you were tanking. What's up? He's quite a big boy. So each time we do our full combo, <coughs> we get a cartridge. And then we send said cartridge on uh, one of these. And I guess Burst Strike will also get a get its own thing eventually. Oh, Jesus. Really freaking hurts. This is actually quite the tough, tough thing. Uh, we really don't want to keep taking these, dude. <laughs> no mercy seems to come off of cooldown quite quickly. It's fifty second of oh, sixty second cooldown. Can I like shirk him? No, it didn't seem to work. Oh, you're gonna be fucking kidding me. Oh, so doing the AoE combo also gives us a shell. Is that right? Or am I just... Or am I fucked up horribly somewhere along the lines? So I could actually go into one or the other? No, I can't. Okay. 
Good to know. You can't interweave. Once you start that once you start that cartridge combo, you have to keep going with that cartridge combo. That's fine. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm afraid not. Well, we did it, at least. She gonna run away, we're gonna have to fucking take her out again. The show's over, I'll take off the mask before I cut it on your face. Told you it was her. Miss Ordain. I might have I might have guessed, but why? That hard doesn't know the first thing about real music. All she thinks she can steal my fans, my stage, those applauding out appalling outfits of hers. I won't stand for it, I won't. What happened here? Oh, it's long winded. Long story. Big tiger. Cages to kill. They heard that Ordain wasn't exactly a fan of, of Edda's, but they never thought she'd play this. And now we know that the highwaymen in the woods were on our side. A few days back, they held up Ordain's carriage in the shroud, but she made them offer worth more than they need. Mind you, I don't suppose they mind the uh, bastards left the other day after the day. Uh, words. You've done all, all of us a good turn. So I guess we're going to be solving little problems, I guess, with these guys. Probably end up killing a Galleon right at the end. Redemption of him or something. Now that the danger has passed, I don't like that his hair clips through that jacket. It's really irritating. There's still one thing I don't quite understand. Why do those highwaymen attack me and Rover in the woods? Maybe it's because of your ears. I just know Dane told them how much I love wearing his favorite bunny crown. Oh, I see. Oh, those aren't, those aren't real Vieira ears. At least, I don't think so. Actually, I was wondering if I might have a word in private. Uh, but there is four of us. Uh, yes, but if I include you, which I'm not. What have I deserved to deserve such treatment? Uh, well, I suppose my lady is entitled to her secrets. But before I return to my duties, I wish to express gratitude and part of today's events. You both have performed admirably. Okay, bye. Now that the pesky manager of mine is out of the way, let me go to get him go away. You just wanted to run away? Damn, it's gonna keep going. I tried to mount up. <laughs> Can't do that in the middle of the fucking Gridania, can I? I'll go to the bottom of this guild. Up. Oops. Here I am. You risked life and limb to protect me, so I feel it only fair that I explain myself. One, one moment, please. Whoa. Wh what? The Sylph. You mean to say she was a Sylph from the very beginning? <laughs> oh yes. Uh, this one feels much more comfortable now. It's fun to use glamours and play, play the Hops coin. Uh, one spent too long walking in one's house and was nearly died. These ones need sun rays, flourish to live. That explains a lot of things, actually. That's why I need to go outside. But this one uh, hopes helpful ones will understand and not to tell simply one. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We won't tell. I mean, you didn't have to tell us either. I'm ever so grateful. Promise you'll come listen to me harpsichord soon. Yes, teehee? Alright. 
Uh, not quite the conclusion I was expecting, but a satisfactory one nevertheless. I must say that you you acquired yourself rather well. Normally, it takes a lot longer for novices to grasp the fundamentals and difficulties between gun blade and the regular sword. I was originally developed by my people, the Third Astral Era. The, much, the march of the Alien Alligan Empires drew us between the wastelands, barren wastelands. Our queen, Gunfear, Gun, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. His weapons, Gunfear's Gun blades, eventually became known as gun blades. Meanwhile, the Alligans were developing firearms capable of launching projectiles at a great distance. And a similar in appearance to our gun blades. To refresh these weapons as guns. A term which is now a commonplace. So so effective are these new weapons on the battlefield that the Queen's Guard described specialised in smashing smashing through the enemy lines and destroying them as swiftly as possible. Uh, thus did not come so close to known gun blades to say fuck it. I like how she's bored. <laughs> Even after the Emp Alligan Empire, these techniques were passed down to each new generation. My clan. Okay, cool. It is my duty to see that the art of Gunbreaker lives on, even if it means entrusting it to an outsider, such as yourself. Uh, the history lessons... I feel like history lessons, you two... Fuck's sake. I need to see if I can t turn this to click. Best leave it for the time being. Best learning is done in the field. However... Present the Grudalian is, I'm eager to see what the other city states have to offer. Then I might have suggest Uldar. Their markets have goods from all over the world. I'm dying to take a look. Uldar it is then. So if you now we'll go ahead. When you arrive, seek us out. Should be too hard to find. Yeah. The only Horofgar ever. <laughs> sure it won't be difficult. Ah, oh, well there you go. That's Gumbre. I gotta go all the way over the fucking order. Uh I quite like it. Uh, despite me being on the record saying that gum gum blades look dumb. <laughs> uh, they, it's it's all right. It's quite fun. I don't think it's uh at its current form at its level at its level sixty. I don't know how it's going to be at eighty. I will get it there. Uh, I don't think it's enough to drag me away from what I know from Warrior or Paladin or Dark Knight, but uh, but it definitely is good. Definitely, definitely is very cool. Uh, here he is. Could finally get away from the noisy marketplace. Not that this is watering hole is much quieter. Still. Paradise compared to anything you'll find in Gallian territory. He's a sad mood because he can't find any work. Oh, you got you got an outfit change. <laughs> Good job, Sophie. You're not wrong there, Sophie. I'll keep looking though. Try if you better train yourself and find uh, we'll, until we find our next client. Sure. Which I guess will be level 62. 63. Alright, well, great. I'll come back here once I'm level, I don't know, level 63 or... 70. I don't know what I'll do yet, but uh, we'll definitely see the rest of this gun break story. We'll see a lot of the other job quests as well once we hit level 80, because there's only one job quest now for each of them, but it's a very long one. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do those. And then Dancer will be tomorrow, and I'll do those quests as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave a like and a comment down below. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.